you know, is, is, the, is, 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 you know, where it's at. I mean, you know, I'm back. I mean, you know where I'm at. But, I mean, jazz. <laughs> it was lovely to do that. It was nice. It's really good. Excuse me one moment, though. Good evening and welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Flip the Stage, the show where we turn the tables and bring the music to your couch. I'm your host, Rich Neeson, and as always, I like to begin by thanking the folks who make this show possible. The Lasden Foundation, Jeanette and Jeff Lasden, and of course, Lagand Music, Roseanne Lana and Charlie Lagand. So my wife and I are out for a night, a rare night of socially distanced live music. And this song comes up over the sound system. It's an old song by Traffic called Giving to You, and I love this song. It's got that jazzy feel, you know, but then again, Traffic's not exactly a jazz group. They seem to have defied description throughout their career. And that kind of got us talking about what is jazz? There's so many different styles of music that get lumped into that one category. Jazz, bebop, swing, improv, trad jazz, modern jazz, Dixieland, New Orleans, cool jazz, Latin jazz, jazz fusion, so many of them. And I'm sure each one of those has a definition. And I'm equally sure I can find examples of music that transcend those definitions, ignore those definitions, or change those definitions entirely into another realm, just like the band Traffic. Were they rock? Were they psychedelic? Were they blues, jazz? They defied description. And that's one of the hallmarks of good music. Another great example is the Neville Brothers. Art Neville and his brother Aaron each had hit songs in the 1960s. And then Art teams up with his brother Cyril to help form the quintessential New Orleans group, The Meters. A decade after that, Aaron, Art, and Cyril, joined by their brother Charles, who plays saxophone, start recording as the Neville Brothers, a group that played funk, soul, pop, jazz, gospel, even touched on jam band territory. So where do you place them? Does it even matter? It's not about what you call it. It's about how it makes you feel. It's not about whether this music is popular and your friends like it. It's about whether you can relate to the vibe. Does it move you? That's the real test. We can go through this with virtually every style of music out there. I mean, seriously, how many different forms of hip hop or rap exist today? Is there really a distinction between rock and roll and rock music? And who cares? It's about the ride, not the car. A couple of weeks ago, I saw the artist Her being interviewed on television, and she had this to say. Music is the foundation, and music is the main part of it. We all get so caught up in what everybody else is doing, and sometimes we get disappointed because at the end of the day, we're all human. We all go through things, and we all have stuff to deal with outside of our art. I really just wanted to focus on the art. The music is the message. It makes you want to fall in love. It makes you sad. It tells you what's going on, and I think we forgot about that. Musicians themselves are all on a journey. Whether they began as children performing for their families or started in high school because someone they liked inspired them, they're all on a path towards personal growth as human beings. Tonight's guest, the Jared Lippy Trio will speak directly to that journey. They'll spend a little time with us paying tribute to one of their mentors, Chick Corea, as well as walking us through the roots of the music we're very broadly calling jazz. So please join us in welcoming the Jared Lippy Trio.
Hi everybody, thanks for watching. I'm um, really happy to be here with these incredible musicians. You're listening to the great Glenn Zaleski on piano. And this is the amazing Rick Rosato on bass. And we started this set with the tune of Glenn's entitled Table Talk, followed by a tribute to the late great Chick Corea entitled Tones for Jones Bones. And we're gonna finish now with a song by Chico Barque, arranged by Rick. Uh, called Paratodos. Hope you like it.
Well, everybody, that's our show for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Please give a virtual round of applause to the Jared Lippy Trio. And while you're at it, remember to give yourselves one too, because without you, the audience, there is no live music. Join us next time, Saturday, April 10th at 7 p.m., when our guest will be Brighton Beat, right here on Flip the Stage. We'll see you then.